had an encounter with a sixth grader um, two weeks ago. And his teacher from last year, he had only been in the district two years, I believe, maybe three. But his teacher from last year, his fifth grade teacher, has shared with me how difficult the journey was. Because he was, bi he's bilingual, he comes from a non-English speaking home, had some social issues, some propensity to join a gang, to be part of the not positive side of Kansas City in some way. She worked with him, and so is his current sixth grade teacher, and he had an, an incident where he'd made a very sixth grade decision. And he sat in my office and he got very, and I'm gonna cry, but he got very teary-eyed because he said to me, I've been trying really hard to be the best person I can because I need to be better than my mom and my dad. I need to do better, and I just made a, I hope this doesn't stop me. And I said to him, no, you made a sixth grade decision, which happens. But the fact that he had a whole conscientious belief that I'm better than this, I deserve to be better than this, everyone around me deserves me to be better than this. The way he said it was just very heart-wrenching in the sense that I was proud of him because he had a true sense of he's got a future if he does all the right things today, which is what the district is about. If we do all the right things today for these children, they have a positive future.